I'm gonna make myself a beautiful raw soup dinner tonight. Just got done with two hours of yoga, running, stretching a little bit, and I'm gonna have my raw soup. I try to have raw soup every night because raw soup is really, really satisfying. You just have to make it right. I'm gonna show you how to take anything out of your refrigerator right now and be able to make yourself a really good dinner. Let me show you what I got going here. This is all the stuff that I have that's been sitting in my refrigerator for a little while. It doesn't matter if it's a little rotten. Um, rotten, of course, just means it's fermenting. It doesn't mean it's rotten. It just means it's actually going towards its way of breaking down. It's getting its, its fermentation. So let me show you what I got going here. I got a cucumber. I've got some zucchini. I've got some... Well, you can see it's not the greatest uh, <laughs> salad here. I've got about 10 okra. And I've got some sweet peas. I've got two stalks of celery. I've got some mucoloid salad, so we call it Mexican salad. We're going to put a whole avocado in. We're going to put a whole lemon. I'm going to put the rest of my tomatoes in. I'm going to put a papaya with a lot of the seeds in. A little pumpkin seeds. I want to add a little brown rice protein to it so I can get my protein because, yes, keeping your muscles up to a certain level makes you so you can actually stay vital. If not, you get skinny like some of the vegetarians that you see, which are really not what a lot of people want to be like. My dad says, why do I want to eat that stuff if I'm going to look like those people? Well, you got to exercise, Dad, and you have to be able to uh, put the protein back in your system with creatine. So I'm going to use a few things that I'm going to show you here that is going to keep your protein level up, but also, and this is plant protein, remember, it's not meat protein. So it's got not that much creatine in it. It's got um, vital nutritional input. Your body needs to learn how to, to break down this food in a way that it actually can be assimilable. So we're going to use blue-green algae spirulina mixture. I'm going to put a little brown rice protein in. I put a spoon of the, of the blue-green. I put a half a spoon or so of the brown rice. I put toasted sesame seed oil. This is my sole salt that I put in one of these misto containers, which is really nice because you can just spray it in. I put 10 drops of magnesium concentrate. I put five drops of fulvic. I put in a teaspoon of living silica. I'm going to put in this papaya, a whole squeezed lemon, because the lemons are what actually emulsify the oils. I don't use white onions, green onions, or garlic at all because you'll smell like sort of like a hippie type smell like bo like a football player so we use purple onion and i'm going to use about a half of this i put a full chipotle pepper in and i use about three tablespoons of pumpkin seeds now we're going to get to the spices this is curry organic curry and this is a thai organic thai mix no garlic remember i'm going to add some dulse flakes a big tablespoon of that. I'm going to put two tablespoons of the macaroon shavings, which are coconut. I'm going to use hemp seed oil. I'm going to put soy-free veginase. I don't have any wheat, corn, or soy in my diet. And I'm going to put in some sea lettuce. The sea lettuce is very beneficial and it gives it a very nice flavor. I put in about maybe a handful of golden berries and a big tablespoon of maca, apple cider vinegar. Remember the vinegar and the lemon emulsify the oils. You always put in vinegar and lemon. That's what makes the oil so they're assimilable. I've got an old salad that I've been eating on for about three or four days and that's my dressing down there. None of this stuff goes bad. So I just put it in my soup. When I'm done with eating my salad, it goes to my soup. And I'm gonna finish it off on top with hemp seeds. And that's my whole raw food soup.
It's very simple. I can go ahead and blend it for you, but I'm not gonna blend it. You guys know what's going on. We put it in the Vitamix, right here. I blend it up, medium speed. And uh, this salad right here, like I said, is a mucoloid salad and the okra is also mucoloid. So these mucoloids really go ahead and give you the intestinal lubrication that we all need. When I eat this salad, I call it a soup salad because it's got everything in it that you're gonna to wanna to have. And um, this is the best type of raw soup. There's no real recipe to it. You just find what's in your refrigerator and you just use it. It's not a specific recipe. Everything that you make is gonna taste good, especially when you're, well, when you're healthy. All the things I'm putting in here are very healthy for you. So, um, well, this is what gives it a super flavor too. You have to put in a chipotle pepper. These peppers are very strong. They're pretty strong as far as the flavor that you get, sort of like a mesquite sort of barbecue flavor. And I mix it up. And I'm also going to have a quinoa salad that Satori made me for dinner tonight. These are some of the different things that people get when they stay at the retreat here. Quinoa kale salad with avocado. But I'm actually, uh, I'm going to live it up tonight. All right, that's it. It's called a raw soup, super, super food meal. And that's really what it's all about. Remember, you use the simple foods that you get from the farmer's market. Then you go ahead and actually use a lot of the superfoods to be able to ignite it, especially the blue-green algae. One spoon of blue-green algae slash spirulina mixture is like having 10 pounds of broccoli because I want the chlorophyll. So that's my dinner and uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you. I'm trying to keep the the, the videos, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes because a lot of people are complaining that my videos are too long. But these are videos that are going to really explain uh, quick recipes that you could make at night. If you're hungry, don't eat junk. Make yourself a raw food meal. What really makes it taste good is the soy free veginase. And I put about a tablespoon of that in there. And that really makes it so average people that aren't used to eating this stuff will feel that, that this is like something that they're getting out of like a Dairy Queen. It becomes very creamy and very good. You can put a couple of the pumpkin seeds on top to make it feel crunchy because you want to have crunch too. And the best thing about this soup is in the morning, there's no guilt. Zero. Remember, guilt is the biggest thing where you feel like you sit on the toilet and you can't go to the bathroom. It's because you know what you ate at night was not good for you. So. I try to go ahead, like I said, make this dinner and it's 10 o'clock at night and people say, wow, well, you're eating late at night. I haven't had any food at all, zero, all day. I do liquids all day. I have liquids of vitality. I have my breakfast tea in the morning and that's it. And this is gonna be my dinner tonight. Okay, just wanted to say hello, aloha, and raw food soup. All right, aloha. <laughs> See you later, bye. Important reminder, all information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do not recommend the use of mineral deficient foods, drugs, or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects 
or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein.